Hello besties and welcome back. Welcome if you guys are new. It is your girl Jazzy J here on this mic and this is Earth Vibes Tarot, your favorite Capricorn only channel, but you are all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. We are diving into the Capricorn and Pisces. Uh, all signs reading for Capricorn and Pisces. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's go ahead and dive right into this message here, Capricorns and Pisces. This is the energy between Pisces and Capricorn here, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. So we have the engagement ring, higher commitment, eternity, partnership, union, and completion. And then we also have the energy of karmic relationship, resentments and triggers, perceptions, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. And then there's the energy of the camera, reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, and the perception energy again. What is going on here? So bottom of the deck is cutting down or cut down, excuse me, grounding and passion. It almost feels like there is some sort of a learning experience coming in from this relationship or this connection. It feels like there may just be kind of like thinking about the past, thinking about memories, thinking about what was and what has happened um, and kind of like going through this energy of fully letting go, like fully releasing fully getting out of this energy here hold on i don't like the fact that you guys can she oh my goodness there we go all right so let's break this down a little bit because it almost feels like there's like memories it feels like there is kind of thinking about the past but then also kind of fully releasing fully letting go and moving on but we have a person a that's going to be represented by rose quartz and then a person b we're going to have being represented by the amethyst here so let's go ahead and take a look at person A. Towards person B here in this connection. Tell us about person A towards person B. Pisces and Capricorn here, Spirit. We have destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. I'm struggling to find the right path. With Chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. Bottom of the deck is missed opportunity, self-love, and soul contract. I almost feel like this connection between the two parties almost has occurred because of some sort of soul contract. I feel like this is an energy of like a relationship where we learn a lot from each other where we we end up growing we end up evolving and we end up basically you know growing into individuals that we were meant to be from this connection from the things that we've been through from the things that we've had experienced you know becoming a newer individual and more well-rounded individual because of what we have gone through and this energy of destiny and this energy of the chaser it feels like person b is like looking for somebody to love looking you know just searching for love seeking and searching for love chasing after it and person a is more dealing with this energy of trying to find um 
the right path they're not necessarily chasing they're not necessarily going after you know anybody in particular or you know in a very like forward focused movement of relationship it feels like this person is just really trying to find what they need here but i feel like the the two people together this connection is more or less a learning process because engagement ring also states completion and the completion of of a connection reminiscing on the past learning from the past and letting go of this very intense energy okay so let's go ahead and take <clears throat> a deeper look here at this energy we're looking at thoughts feelings and intentions towards one another now remember this could be a self-love reading as well especially if you have piscean energy in your chart somewhere um as a capricorn or you have capricorn in your uh chart somewhere as a piscean all right she shows what we need to see here for person a thoughts feelings and intentions towards the connection wow so we've got the tower Wow, the hermit. Give us one more here. And the sun. Wow. So three major arcana coming out with the devil at the bottom of the deck um, on person A's part. It definitely feels like there is a want to... I mean, the tower is about trans like a transition, a transformation, and really allowing things to just kind of fall, right? It's, it's, it's finally time that this has occurred. It's finally time that this happens. And there's this energy of things no longer being in a harmonious union, things no longer being you know really in balance anymore and it's been more of like a spiritual ride here it feels like for person a and it feels like you know again they have learned a lot about themselves the hermit in this feeling space it, you know the hermit is a very independent individual they're very soul searching soul seeking becoming very spiritually enlightened in their journey um and it almost feels like that's what's happening here like this person has really learned a lot explored a lot and understood a lot about themselves because of this connection and really thinking about tearing down the walls tearing down and letting that tower fall with the sun coming out in the intentions i mean it's it's nothing but positivity it's nothing but beauty it's nothing but love and happiness and joy and all of those wonderful things that we think of when we think about the sun but i feel like this is more kind of faced towards the individual and less faced towards the connection because i feel like there is this very deep like sigh of relief um in the realm of kind of disconnecting and really you know just kind of reminiscing on the past is nice and thinking about what was is nice but this higher commitment to self for person a <clears throat> so that way they are they're they're on they know they're on the right path they're doing what they're supposed to do they're following their heart their soul their dreams whatever um it kind of includes this tower moment on this connection so we'll go a little bit deeper and clarify but the devil being at the bottom of the deck capricorn energy with the seven of swords and the fool and i almost feel like there is a <clears throat> leave a faith or a chance that's going to be taken here by person a um and it comes through because there is a understanding of what may have been being ignored or what may have been being um pushed to the back burner I feel like this energy has been worked through and this is the devil energy that we're talking about now this is you know those things that we we tie ourselves to we're chained to and things that really can um end up going off on the deep end if we don't <laughs> you know get it together i feel like this person has gone through a very spiritual process here for self let's take a look at person b in this connection tell us about person b here please spirit thoughts feelings and intentions the 
So the four of coins, the magician. And strength. So two major arcana cards out of the three. So a lot of big implicit changes that are going to be going on here in this connection, which with what's going on, I mean, I can feel it. It feels just, <clears throat> excuse me, like things are trying to spiritually align for the individuals. With the four of coins, I feel like this is a very comfortable position for person B. I feel like person B, um, like this hits close to home. Maybe this person is somebody that, or this, maybe not necessarily the person, or it's just like the energy, right? They keep going for the same energy. They keep chasing after the same type of energy and it's trying to show them something that's hidden within themselves <clears throat> that should be addressed here with the magician coming out so four coins the magician I, I honestly feel like person B feels like they can I don't want to say trick or manipulate, but they feel like they can get person A back. They feel like they can do the same things and really bring this person back into their life. And that's not going to be the case here. Person A has done a lot of work, a lot of inner work on the self um, that I feel like is going to really trump and allow them to get through the conversation or whatever that's going to go through with person B where they're going to use this magician energy to try to entice person A to come back into the connection and then we have the energy of strength coming out in the intentions yeah so again there's a lot of confidence in in themselves but I feel like this person isn't necessarily coming from a place of clarity I feel like they're just coming from a place, I don't want to say confusion, um, but just it's clouded and I feel like they're not really seeing what's happening. But person A is very spiritually aware, let me just say that, um, of these energies. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Coins, Justice, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say I feel like person B is wanting another chance wanting something else wanting something new wanting something more um from this connection and i don't feel like person a does i feel like person a has learned a lot of lessons here tell us about the energy of the four coins for person b towards person a so we have the six of cups i feel i'm gonna be honest this could be somebody that you've known for a long time, especially with the Six of Cups, Four Coins. It's giving close to home. It's giving like family energy. Um, this could even be like somebody, just again, somebody that you've known for a long time. We have the energy of judgment coming out as well. So Six of Cups in judgment. I almost feel like person B feels like the two of them are supposed to be together or they have some sort of purpose, some sort of calling. And that may not necessarily be, it may not necessarily be what they're thinking. And I feel like person A has actually caught on to what this energy is and it's for the purposes of healing. And we have the eight of wands. Yeah, it's... It, Person A, or excuse me, person B is doing a lot of thinking about person A, doing a lot of like wanting for person A, doing just, just a lot of craving of their energy. And I don't necessarily, again, if this is not what your relationship is, that is fine. But it this is what I'm feeling off of the energy. And it just, it feels like I'm trying to heal and learn and person B just kind of isn't on that on that track tell us about the energy of the tower here for person a towards person b tell us about this tower 
Oof. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you. You've either known this person for a long time or this is a family member. This may be somebody that you have children with. This may have been a committed relationship. This may have been a very long-term committed relationship. Um, but I feel like person A is really wanting to really let, let out what has been hidden, so to speak. And it's not necessarily hiding it from them, but hiding from themselves. And they've rediscovered this energy. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. This is a very painful, painful ending in this connection, especially with the Two um, or the Tower and the Ten of Cups, because it's love. There's emotion. There's a lot behind it. And the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups coming out, you know, this is the ending of a partnership. This is an ending of a very close bond. Um, and I almost feel like it's because person A is looking for their purpose, right? Person A, it's like they crave or desire something more. And it may be something that they crave or desire more from the connection and maybe they're not receiving it. Um, and it could be because person B can only meet person A as what they know themselves at. And if person A has been doing work on themselves and person B, if they don't choose to do that work, they're going to kind of just be lingering behind person A. Wow. This is intense. And I feel like there's conversation that needs to be had between, between these two parties. Definitely, because if not, I feel like there will be a lot that's been left unsaid and leaving person B more in the realm of confusion. All right. Any closing messages here, please, Spirit, for Pisces and Capricorns in this love reading? So material attachment, too much focus on visible trappings. Soulmate, you have found your romantic counterpart. And lasting love, this is your true love. I'm going to be honest, it feels like this is a connection where there has been a lot of love, there has been a lot of connection, and understand that you can have more than one soulmate in your life, you know, people you connect with, people that you have things in common with, people that, you know, make you feel good, you can have more than one, but it almost feels like this has turned into a very materially attached connection, um, kind of bringing an end to something that was thought to be lasting. So bottom of the deck is you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. And obviously there's a lot more to this connection than what I'm tapping into. It, it feels like there's a there's been a lot going on for a while and person A is finally coming to the point where they can speak on it. I want to man up and honor you. I want to make it up to you. I feel the love. And you fill me up with happiness. So this could be coming from either party. Uh, take what resonates you guys, leave the rest behind. I do hope you guys found this message insightful and that it resonated. It was a very interesting read for me. Smash that like button for me. Leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one.